What's up, Learn How Nation? In this video, I'm going to show you how to stay organized with your grocery shopping list using the Out of Milk app. I'm Andy, and you're watching Learn How. We create video lessons and tutorials to help people learn how to use technology to improve their lifestyle. So if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing. Also, we've got some free downloads for you guys right up here. So don't forget to check those out at, at any time during the video, also to help you improve your lifestyle. So in this video, we are going to talk about the Out of Milk app. This is an app that I recently discovered in the App Store. And this is kind of just, I guess, one of my first time hands on reviews of the app. It's an app to help you stay organized with your grocery shopping list. And there's some cool features here in the app. So let's open it up and see what it's like. So right off the bat, this is the main out of milk grocery shopping list. One of the things that I noticed first about this out of milk app is that you can add prices to products. So you can kind of get an idea of how expensive your grocery shopping list is going to be before you even buy anything. So I'm going to show you really briefly kind of how it works. I put together kind of a fake grocery shopping list. But it's nice because the app will kind of automatically sort things out in the different categories for you. So you can see here I've got produce, meat, dairy, and bakery and bread. So if I want to add an item here in the top bar and I say yogurt, it will automatically add yogurt down here into the dairy section. So it's a, it's a pretty smart app. It kind of knows what goes in each section which can be useful if you're shopping in the grocery store and you can kind of focus like, okay, I'm in the vegetable section or the produce section. These are all my vegetables. Okay, I'm over in the dairy section. These are all my dairy items. So you're not wandering around the grocery store like I do. I like to walk down every aisle like five times and back and forth across the store because I'm not organized. So maybe I should start using this app. But let's talk a little bit about the price thing. So right here on broccoli, you can see there's a price per pound. So if I click on broccoli, I can change the way that it's priced. So right here up at the top, I can say one pound. I can change it to cup, teaspoon, whatever. Um, so I can put that as what, what I need. So if I need one pound of broccoli, I can put one pound. If I need two cups of cream, I can put two cups. And then you can add a price for, for how much it is. So if you know how much the item costs, you can add it beforehand. So if broccoli is something you buy a lot and you know that it's $1.99 a pound, you can just put it in there. Unit price, $1.99, $1.99 per pound. And so, oh, you'll see here, I should point this out. You'll see here that broccoli is two thirteen. dollars That's because I have this checked that says item has sales tax. So it also calculates sales tax for you as well, which is nice. And you can actually pick the percentage, uh, like 7% or whatever your sales tax is. So you'll see right, right there, I put a price for broccoli. And then down at the bottom of the screen, my list total as of now is $2.13 because I haven't added a price to those other items. So if you want to go through, you can go through and add prices for items and it will save. So once you add $1.99 per pound for broccoli, every time you add broccoli to your list, it's going to automatically put in that price. You don't have to add it every time. So if you go through and add prices for the essentials, you know, milk, bread, eggs, chicken, all that kind of stuff, then you can get an idea every time you go shopping about how much you're going to end up spending. Let's look at a couple other things here really quick. Up in this add item bar, uh, there's that little clock wheel. You can add items that you've previously added. So if you've added broccoli or chicken or milk or whatever, wheat thins, you can go through and just add from your history. So you don't have to, to search every single item. You can just fill, tap the circles and, and add those. Also, there's a barcode feature, which allows you to scan a barcode of a product and it will add it to your list. I tested out that feature and I don't really love it. It actually doesn't work great for a lot of items. Um, it does work okay for some really popular items, but I've scanned a few food boxes and things and it like brought up some crazy random name. So not a huge fan of the barcode, but I think it does have potential. Let's go down here and check out some other things at the bottom of the screen. Pantry list. You can add things that are in your pantry and change 
if it's low or full. So if you have wheat thins or chips or bread, you can, you can add them here and then say if it's full or if it's low. Um, and then you can, you know, tap the circle next to the item and add it to your shopping list. So that's a nice thing. You can just kind of scroll through your pantry list and see what's low, see what you need to add to your shopping list. The to-do list is basically just a to-do list. I mean, it's just like a little bonus feature, I guess they wanted to throw into the app to make it more than just a grocery shopping app, I guess. Uh, so yeah, there's a, a little to-do list as well. And then of course you've got your settings where you can manage um, different stuff in here. But yeah, the basics of the app is right there for that shopping list. So you can see how much you're gonna end up spending, what you need, and then that pantry list feature that I showed you. All right guys, if you like this video, if you wanna check out Out of Milk, the app, I've got a link in the description below this video that you can grab the app for free from your app store and give it a try. And let us know what you think in the comments. If you download the app and you like it and you use it, let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I read all of the comments and I really appreciate it when you, when you guys leave comments, no matter what you say in your comments, even if it's just a question, if you need help. So I, I appreciate that. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video.